Welcome everybody back to another edition of Friday Night Smackdown and we have a stacked card for you here tonight on Smackdown as we come live from Birmingham England so let's get straight into things as the tag team tournament to crown the first tag team champions continues as the revival square off against the new day to crown the first Smackdown Tag Team Champions this is surely gonna be a classic tag match too of the best teams here on Raw or here on Smackdown sorry I don't even know what show I'm calling anymore as the New Day challenge and once again Xavier Woods is broken Xavier Woods with the glitchy gimmick once again He needed to enter that cheese entering cheat codes. He's entering up up down down on the keyboard or on the controller Which is uh, glitching him in the game But uh, back to serious business the new day Advancing over the Usos last week to reach the finals here tonight and two weeks ago Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder, the revival, defeated Heavy Machinery. Of course, Otis in singles action did pick up a win over Dash last week. So you gotta believe if the revival leave here tonight, Heavy Machinery will have their eyes set on the revival and the tag team champions. But first, the revival must go through the new day. And who knows, maybe Heavy Machinery might turn their attention to the new day. Or will it maybe if the New Day win the titles, a new team will step up and challenge. As here come the New Day's opponents, of course the top guys. Scott Dawson, Dash Wilder, The Revival. And you gotta believe The Revival would love to leave Birmingham, England tonight. With those tag team straps around their waist. As they make their way to the ring. You gotta wonder, will that upset by Otis in singles action on Dash Wilder? Will that be in the back of the Revival's minds here tonight? Will their attention be fully focused on the New Day? And you know, the Revival, they call themselves the top guys because they believe they are the top tag team. So you gotta believe they would be able to put that upset behind them and focus on this match and put heavy machinery behind them for now. As we take a look at the tag team championships, this is what it is for. And there you see the vacant tag team titles. We're looking to crown our first tag team champions here on SmackDown. Kofi Kingston starting for the New Day. Dash Wilder starting for the Revival. Referee rings the bell and we are now underway. Dash gone, closing down Kofi with the forearm straight away. Now stomping away at Kofi Kingston. Now Dash working over the back of Kingston. Goes for a cover early on. Only a one count. It's going to be a lot more to keep someone like Kofi Kingston down. But making him kick out, making him uh, use his energy, forcing him to kick out. Trying to wear down Kofi that way. As now we see him with that... Dropping him across the knee, dropping that knee onto the knee of Wilder. And now the clothesline to the back. You gotta wonder if he's focusing on the legs to counter the trouble in paradise as he once again he's gone to the leg. Working over the legs. Trying to not allow Kofi to use that trouble in paradise kick that Kofi uses all too well. With that spinning suplex now by Wilder. Kofi though keeping up and get hatching. Wilder with the Hurricane Rana. Kingston now picks up Dash Wilder and he's looking to drag him toward, in, towards the New Day's corner. No, he just lets him go. Now the Irish whip into the corner. Turns him around and Kingston now going to work with those punches to the head of Dash Wilder. Kingston just really laying those shots in. And now Dash dropping down after those vicious 10 punches by Kingston. 
wisely Kingston pulls him away from the ropes now he's going to work just stopping on the arm Kofi picks up Wilder and drops him with that Michinoku driver once again picking him up is Kofi Kingston and a twist in that spinning neck breaker just sending down Dash Wilder and once again snap suplex by Kofi Kingston Dash Wilder in trouble Kofi looking to make a tag to Big E in comes Big E Langston Big E going straight for Dash Wilder picks up Wilder and Wilder able to slide out slip out the back and floats over spins him around with the neck breaker now Dash Wilder sends Big E head first into the uh, turnbuckle but that just allows Scott Dawson to make the tag but Big E cuts him off straight away with that big suplex Big E has really been in control since tagging in and now Big E what's he got planned for Dawson we don't know because Dawson able to fight out with those elbow shots to the midsection Irish whip by Big E sends Dawson into the corner and now it looks like Big E setting him up for something goes up and fall away slam by Big E off the top rope and now makes the tag to Kofi Kingston he's now stomping away at Scott Dawson and now the big neck breaker sending Dawson into the mat A big form strike by Kofi Kingston. Kofi sends Dawson off the ropes and just stomp down. And once again tagging in Big E. Dawson trying to crawl. Make the tag to Wilder and he gets there. The two fresh men are in. Wilder and Dawson. Or Wilder and Big E sorry. And Wilder hits the drop kick on Big E. Now Dash picking up Big E. And a twisting spinning suplex. Picks up Big E once again. And a big European uppercut just sending Big E down. Dash Wilder is feeling it. He is in control of Big E with that. And just dropping Big E to a knee with that vicious strike. But Big E able to get the arm drag. Taking control of this contest now. But Dawson, or Dash able to duck under. Kick to the midsection. Can he pick Big E up? He does into the gory special. And the gory bomb by Dash Wilder. Goes for the cover here. One count only. Stomping away at the back. Picks him up. And dropping him across the knee. Goes for the cover. One. Two. Biggie able to kick out. Biggie still in this one. Snapmare by Dash picks up Big E, sends him, Big E sending him over to the top, over the rope. Kofi pulling him down off the apron. Kofi with the backdrop onto the floor. Now Big E coming out after Dash. Big E now just going to work on the back of Dash Wilder. I don't know what it is with tag team matches here in the WWE. Always spilling to the outside. Is the referee up to a count of four? Both men need to make it back into the ring before the count of ten. As Big E sends Dash back into the ring. Now picking him up. This time it's Dash Wilder sending Big E out over the rope. Big E standing on the apron. Dash coming down after him. Dash getting back in. What is going on here? Alright, now both men are out. Now Big E's back in. Now Dash is back in. And Alright, looks like they've both figured it out. And once again, Dash Wilder sends Big E out over onto the apron. Dash coming down after him this time. Biggie drops down and gets caught with the forearm. 
Dash Wilder just standing there, not working over Big E, not getting back in to break the count. Just stand there waiting for Big E to get back up, okay. And Big E with that big, just, I don't even know what to call that, actually. Just knocking him down. And now with the elbow. Now just going to work on the back of Dash Wilder is Big E Langston. Biggie sends him into the steps. Referee, I believe he, he's up to about seven. Yeah, here he is, count of eight. Two, both men need to make it back in. Nine, Dash sends Biggie back in and b makes it back in himself just in time. It's Dash Wilder going to work on Biggie with that gory special. Gets caught with the dropkick Kofi in to break it up. And now Dash Wilder sets Big E up. And now that double knees to the head of Big E. Goes for the cover. One. Two. Kofi Kingston in to break it up. The Revival were so close to being crowned. Smackdown Tag Team Champions right there. Now, the rival in control of this one. Just set Dash Wilder, just setting Big E up for something. Big E able to reverse, sending him into the corner. Dawson wisely making the tag. Is Big E just going to work though on Scott Dawson? With the big ending! That could be a Denude. Could be three seconds away from being crowned. Tag team champions pulls him away from the ropes. Goes for referee down. One, two. And Scott Dawson somehow kicks out of the big ending. The New Day were so close to being crowned. Your tag team champions. But Big E going to work. Just dropping him across the knee. Once again just dropping Scott Dawson across the knee. Dawson able to kick him off, able to fight back, makes the tag to Dash Wilder. Dash gets caught with big belly to belly by Big E. It's Big E now just waiting, just calling Dash to his feet, picking up Dash now. And a big body shot. And now Big E picking him up. For a power bomb, Biggie is feeling it. He's getting the WWE Universe here in Birmingham behind him, and out once again just stacking them up with a vicious power bomb. The New Day are in control. Biggie could go for the cover, but he's not. Instead, he's just waiting. Now once again to the outside. How many times has they gone to the outside now? Just sending them into the ring. Now dropping them across the knee. Dash goes for the punch. Gets caught. Biggie with forearm. Sending them into the barricade. Referee up to a count of four. Dash kick to the midsection, drop to a hole. Now, once again, working over the leg of Big E, referee at seven. Now, just send them head first into the ring post, referee at a count of eight. Dash Wilder, get in the ring, nine. Dash is just stand there, get in the ring. Ten. Dash just stood there as the referee counted. He could have got the win. He, the revival could have been crowned tag team champions there by a countout. Because remember, titles can't change hands by a countout because no one was the reigning champion. There was no champions advantage. And I know I'm talking over Greg Hamilton here, but I wonder what will happen to the tag team titles now. It ended in a draw, double countout. 
No one's leaving here with the tag team straps. I guess we'll find out next week what the situation is with the authority. What they're going to book. A Sin Cara now making his way to the ring. As Greg Hamilton did say, this is for the Cruiserweight Champion. Sin Cara was left out of that eight-man battle royale to crown the first champion. And just like how Johnny Gargano granted Akira Tozawa a title shot last week, he's doing the same here tonight for Sin Cara. As Johnny Champion defends the gold once again. And this time he's accompanied to the ring by his wife, Candice LeRae. Of course, Candice was involved in the Phil Four Way to Crown Women's Champion last week and was defeated by Kyrie Sane. She was actually the one who was pinned, I do believe. If I'm remembering correctly, I should say. And now Johnny Champion defending the gold once again, this time against Sin Cara. And you got to admire Johnny Gargano for once again willing to defend his tag his cruiserweight championship. But it could come back to cost him. He was able to defeat Tozawa last week. Will he be able to defeat Sin Cara? As we see the cruiserweight championship, that is what is on the line here tonight. As we see the challenger Sin Cara ready, focused. From Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Johnny Gargano. And there's the defending champion Johnny Gargano, looking to successfully defend his title once again here tonight. As he takes one look at it, could be for the last time. There you see Sinkara the challenger, Johnny Gargano the champion. And we are underway here in Birmingham. Collar and elbow tie up Sinkara. Forcing Johnny back into the corner. Will we get a clean break here? And yes, both men breaking clean. This time, Sinkara with the headlock. And now that backbreaker just dropping him back first across the knee. Goes up for a hurricane runner, connects. kick now to the leg of Gargano and once again tying up this time it's Gargano grabbing the headlock goes behind and working on the arm now Sin Cara with the hammerlock into the headlock taking him down and now just that punch to the head breaking these two up and now Gargano arch whipping him into the corner Sin Cara now placed up on top of the on top uh, on the top rope I got us getting mixed. <laughs> I get my words mixed up here because this great cruiserweight action as Gargano comes off the top rope with that uh, Michinoku driver Falcon Arrow. I'm not. Uh, Mason with the drop kick there. And Gargano snapmare kick across the back of Gargano. Picking him up is. Sin Cara and once again with the Hurricane Rana Gagano wisely rolling to the outside to catch his surroundings but Sin Cara turned his back and got caught with a Pison Rana by Johnny Gargano Johnny picking him up going to work Sin Cara replying with a kick Gargano catches the second one and with a kick of his own and a big CEO suplex by Johnny Gargano. Super kick by Gargano. Just drops Sin Cara. This could be it. Sin Cara looks like he could be out of it. Referee down. 
Not even on one count. I just think Eric drops Gargano with that European uppercut. Misses with the Inziguri. Johnny kick to the midsection. And floats over and just drops him with a cutter. Gargano now with the double foot stomp in control of Sin Cara is Johnny Wrestling. And now he has him. Fisherman Buster by Johnny Gargano. And once again goes for the cover. One count only Sin Cara kicking out. Johnny Gargano cannot believe it. He thought he had Sin Cara put away. Now Gargano picks up Sin Cara. And that roaring forearm. But Sin Cara floats over, rolling them up. Doesn't go for the cover because he knew Gargano rolled it through into the ropes. Now dragging him towards the center of the ring. Just sending Gargano head first into the mat. And now Sin Cara, Fujiwara, armbar. Will Gargano tap? No, Gargano able to reach the ropes. Now working over the air, maybe trying to weaken him so he can go back to the well with the Fujiwara. Missing with the Insigori is Sin Cara. Gargano now with a stomp to the back. And now the Dragon, dragon Sleeper dry, picking him up and then driving him down. Uh, Gargano going to work on the arm, trying to maybe soften the arm so he can lock in the Gargano escape. And now just has Sin Cara caught and dropping him down. Goes for the cover here. One, two, only a two count. Sin Cara able to kick out. Sin Cara back to his feet first. And catches Gargano with that big suplex. As he rolls through, Hinako, bomb! By Sin Cara, that is this it. This could be it. He's not going for the cover though. He, instead, he's taunting Gargano, calling him back to his feet. What has he got planned? A close line, knocking him down. Fought him up with another close line, drop kick. Sin Cara is on a roll. Johnny Gargano's title line could be in trouble. As Sin Cara just throws Johnny Gargano over the top rope. Gargano catches the boot to the midsection and now sends Sin Cara back into the ring and catches him with the cutter and now Gargano locking it in Gargano escape will Sin Cara tap or will he be able to find a way out of the Gargano escape and he has no choice but to tap and once again, Johnny Gargano retains his Cruiserweight Championship here on SmackDown. As we take a look back at some of the highlights here. Johnny Gargano coming close at multiple times to put Sin Cara away early on in this contest. As we take a look back at some of those occasions where Gargano came close. And I know by the highlights, it looks like it was all Sin Cara, or all Johnny Gargano, but Sin Cara did have his moments in this match where he almost put Cruz away, champion away. He came so close on multiple occasions, but it wasn't enough because Johnny Gargano, Johnny Wrestling, is still Johnny Cruiserweight Champion. And we continue on with women's action here on SmackDown as we witness the debut of the EST Bianca Belair. And Bianca has a tough task in front of her here tonight. She challenges SmackDown Women's Champion Kyrie Sane in non title action. But a win here over Kyrie will put Bianca. In contention for a future title shot. 
as the EST is making her way to the ring. And with how stacked the SmackDown Women's roster is a win over the champion will surely move Bianca's name to the top of the contenders list. But of course it wouldn't be no easy, easy task defeating Kairi Sane. She is a women's champion for a reason. She went through seven of the top challengers here just on SmackDown just to get to the title. Of course, the debut episode of SmackDown, she picked up the fall in the eight woman tag team match for her team. Of course, on her team was Dakota Kai, Io Shirai and Candice LeRae. They defeated the team of the Iconics, Ember Moon and Tony Storm. And that win in that tag team match meant that Kyrie's team would face off in a fail four way for that treasure that is in Kyrie's chest. That SmackDown wins championship. So Kyrie beating then her teammates, picking up the win in that match as well on Candice LeRae. So Kyrie has gone through seven of the top best challengers picking up wins. And now she looks to take out another competitor in non title action in Bianca Belair. As the pirate princess with her treasure on her shoulder makes her way to the ring. You know this will be a great matchup. As Kyrie with the gold on her shoulder makes her way up the ring steps. Taking a look out at the WWE Universe here in Birmingham. And you know this will be a women's matchup that has all the potential to be a classic. As Kyrie Sane takes a look out into the sea of universe members, raising her championship up in the air. You know this one's gonna be a good one. The fans here know they're on their feet. Bianca is ready. Kyrie is ready, the referee is ready, and the bell has rung, we are underway. Color and elbow tie up, Bianca goes to work on the arm of Kyrie saying, Kyrie able to turn it around and goes onto Bianca's arm. STO sends both women down. And Kyrie with the hurricane runner and the kick across the spine. Bianca just got annoyed and shoulder tackle using her size and strength advantage which is what Bianca Belair has to do if she wants to stand a chance to defeat Kairi Sane and she just used her hair as a whip the referee can't do anything about it it's her hair it's not like she's using an illegal foreign object and that's what sets Bianca Belair apart from other women she's not afraid to use her own hair her like surroundings to gain the advantage as she just picks her up and then just squatting with the women's champion on her shoulder and slams her down. As Bianca picks up Kyrie, Kyrie able to fight out and just sends Bianca down to the mat. Just stomping away on the Bianca is Kyrie and Kyrie with the octopus hold now locked in. Bianca needs to try find her way out of it. And she does, she's able to get her head free and it allows her to take down Kyrie with the STO. Or the drop to hold, sorry. Kick across the back by Bianca Belair. And Bianca runs the ropes and comes down with the big splash on Kyrie Sane. And now Kyrie in trouble. Belair picking her up once again, dropping her down with a drop kick. And once again, Belair off the ropes with the big splash, but this time Kyrie Sane. Able to get the knees up. And Belair sent down by Kyrie. Kyrie goes for a cover. And Bianca kicks out once again. Knee across the back by Kyrie saying double foot stomp. And a big Alabama slam by Bianca Belair.
and now sends Kyrie or er, Belair in trouble here. Kyrie just slingshots her across the ring, sending her into the bottom rope. And a big bridge in German suplex by Kyrie saying. Belair able to fight out though. Picks her up. And a vicious air raid sound crash. Dropping her across the knee. As Belair club and blow to the back of Kyrie. And Belair just sends the champion down. With that reverse suplex. And the EST is feeling it. And Kyrie fighting back. Vicious forearms by the champion. Due to the midsection. And a vicious neck breaker by Kyrie Sain. And a big spin and back fist by Sain. Goes for the cover. One. Two. Belair able to kick out at two. And now Kyrie once again has Belair up for the Alabama Slam Connects. Saying, sent down to the map by Belair. Belair in control now. Dropkick misses. And now Belair fired up but gets cut off with that mid kick in midsection. Bridging suplex by Kyrie saying goes for a cover. Only a one count. And now Kyrie has Bianca. Picking her up, Michinoku driver. And now locking in the anchor, that's the mission hold of Kyrie Sane. Bianca, nowhere to go. Will she tap out? Will Bianca Belair tap out to the anchor? And she does. Kyrie Sane victorious over Bianca Belair in this fantastic competitive matchup great performance by Bianca but it wasn't enough as we take a look back at some of the highlights Kyrie Sane able to defeat one of the top challengers for her title here on Smackdown in Bianca Belair and you gotta believe that is a statement sent to the rest of the Raw Women's or the Smackdown Women's division as Kairi Sane makes Bianca Belair tap out to the anchor. Here is your winner, and there we see her, your SmackDown Women's Champion, Kairi Sane. And oh, who's this? It's Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler just making her way down to the ring. And Shayna just attacking Kairi Sane, trying to send a statement, a message. To the SmackDown Women's Champion, but Kyrie able to fight her off. Kyrie fighting off Shayna Baszler. As Kyrie grabs the arm and the leg sweep. Kyrie trying to fight off the attack by Shayna Baszler. Baszler able to just take her down. Kyrie saying just went through a vicious matchup with a very competitive matchup with Bianca Belair. Now this vicious assault. By Shayna Baszler as she hits a big suplex, big Saeo suplex. Now just going to work on the arm. And oh, no. Oh my god. She could have broken the arm of the SmackDown Women's Champion. Shayna Baszler just sending a message and oh, just knocking her out with that kick. Now Shayna Baszler sending a message to Kyrie saying. You gotta believe Shayna Baszler wants a shot at Saints Women's Championship. As we continue on here on SmackDown with the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal and of course by his side as always Samir and Sunil the Singh brothers. This is the first time we've seen the modern day Maharaja here on SmackDown since this new era has begun. You gotta believe Jinder Mahal would love to pick up a victory here tonight. Because he wants to challenge for the WWE Championship, which is currently held by Aleister Black. 
and a win here could put him in line for a future championship matchup of course we already know after the actions of Kashizono last week he will receive a future title shot he is the number one contender and we will see Kashizono in our main event later on tonight after this matchup actually Kashizono will be in the main event who is our number one contender but Jinder Mahal would love to get a future title shot as well he'd love to become a, a number one contender in his own right but he has a tough task of head of him as he goes one on one with none other than big match John John Cena himself Mr. Hustle loyalty respect never gave up John Cena making his debut again here in this new era just like Jinder Mahal and you got to wonder has Cena got his sights set on becoming a, a champion here on Smackdown well you got to believe everyone has the right set on becoming a champion because if they don't then why are they even here why are they what do they want that they don't want to become champion but you got to believe John Cena is focused and determined to pick up another world title reign as big match John making his signature entrance because we fight here on Friday nights Maggle John Cena Jinder Mahal ready to do action in this contest here in Birmingham England as the crowd are on the feet Jinder Mahal John Cena ready to go one on one referee rings the bell and we are underway as Jinder takes control of Cena and drops him with that Michinoku driver early on and now Cena in control drops the elbow on Jinder picks up Mahal and drops him with a closing line Cena drags him towards the center of the ring, goes for a cover. And Jinder able to kick out Cena in trouble now as Jinder hits him with that leg sweep. And a kick by Jinder Mahal. And now those knee strikes by Mahal. Kicking up John Cena. And catches him with a big super kick. Drops the elbow. All in control of John Cena. What a big win this will be for Jinder Mahal if he can put away John Cena in this contest. Missing with the super kick though. After up is Mahal. A big bear hug by Cena, but Mahal able to hit him with those elbows, able to get out. Neck breaker by Jinder Mahal. Jinder now working over cranking the head of John Cena. Just going to work, wearing down Big Match John. Now Cena able to reverse, able to take down Mahal, goes for the cover. Only a one count. And now that abdominal stretch by Cena. Will he be able to put away Jinder? No. Jinder able to reverse, able to get that arm drag, that hip toss. Cena picks up Mahal and then just drops him throw first onto the rope. But Mahal catches Cena with that kick, sends Cena down Mahal back to his feet. Now club and blow by Jinder. And just stomping away at Cena is Mahal. Cena able to reverse, grabs the arm and hits the clothesline Cena now got wrench on Jinder and sends him down with that got wrench Cena misses or Cena connects with the punch but Jinder snapmare kick to the back and a punch to the midsection 
and then just drop Cena with the axe handle does my haul Cena once again fights back Close lines Jinder over the top rope and Cena goes out after Mahal. Cena is ready, he's fired up. Jinder catches him, drops him with a super kick. And a big STO by Jinder Mahal. And vicious strikes to the midsection with those knees by Jinder. Cena sends Jinder back into the ring. Cena is getting the WWE Universe here in Birmingham behind him. He's fired up. As he goes for the shoulder tackles. Vintage John Cena. Vintage Cena with the shoulder tackles. Don't throw the clothesline. Don't throw the clothesline. Of course, Jinder closes the clothesline because everyone does. And just like everyone else, he gets dropped. With that big... Uh, now Cena sends Jinder out to the outside. But Jinder able to use his legs and just take down Cena with that leg lock. Misses with the knee to the back. So Cena sends Jinder back into the ring. And now Cena gets caught with that jawbreaker. Jinder up to Brett's rope. A big knee to the back of John Cena by Jinder Mahal. Dump across the lower back of John Cena by Mahal. Cena is able to reverse, but Mahal reverses with his own. And a knee to the back of Cena. Now Cena once again rolling out of the ring. Right in front of the Singh brothers. But Jinder goes out after him. That was a mistake because Cena able to reverse and send Jinder back into the ring. Now stomp to the back of Jinder Mahal. Jinder though catches Cena's boot and drops him with a big lariat. Jinder the reverse or went for the Irish whip Cena reverse and now those big body shots by Big Match John the stomp just picking them up and dropping them down across the mat Cena picks up Mahal and he's gonna put him away Jinder's in trouble AA connects one two three John Cena is victorious over the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal Jinder put up a great show against John Cena but it wasn't enough as big match John was able to put away the modern day Maharaja as we take a look back at some of the highlights and here is the decisive fall one two three John Cena picks up the big victory over Jinder Mahal and you gotta believe with John Cena now arriving on Smackdown I wonder what he's got planned or who is gonna step up and be the next in line challenge John Cena cause you gotta know with the stacked roster here in Smackdown they would all love a shot to be a superstar the caliber of John Cena but tonight, Jinder Mahal wasn't able to get the win. As John Cena is victorious. And now, it is time for your main event here on SmackDown. As not only is it main event time, it is Rusev Day. Rusev making his debut, making his way to the ring here for this main event matchup. And with Rusev challenging the number one contender for Alistair Black's WWE Championship, you got to believe a win over the number one contender will put Rusev in line for a future title shot. So he looks ready, he looks focused, and of course by his side, the ravishing Russian Lana. As Rusev looks to pick up a big victory. And a, what a way would be to celebrate Rusev Day than beating the number one contender in Kashi Sono. And here.
here comes the challenger for Alistair Back's WWE Championship, the number one contender, Cassius Ono, the knockout artist, the wrestling hero, the er, the wrestling genius, the hero that SmackDown needs. So he wants to save us from the era of darkness that Alistair Black is bringing. He claims he's the hero to step up and stop him. But Cassius Ono needs to put Alistair Black to the back of his mind and focus on Rusev here tonight. So Rusev is a tough competitor and Cassius Ono knows that and he knows he can't afford to slip up on his quest to become WWE Champion. Of course, there was Cassius Ono calling out Alistair Black last week and then headbutting the champion for getting into a big brawl, a big fight, which had to be broken up by referees. And after that, the authority made it official saying Cassius Ono will receive a title shot in the future. As we are underway in this one, belly to belly by Rusev. And now Rusev club and blow to the back of Cassius Ono. Now just drops Ono with that punch. Ono smartly out of the rolls out of the ring. And comes back in with a chop. And Rusev catches the boot, but Cassius Ono with the drop kick and the nip up. And a big forearm by Ono, the knockout artist. But Rusev in control sends him off the ropes Irish whip pops oh wow just pushes him up into the air and drops him on the knee probably a knockout blow of Rusev's own now Rusev has Cassius Ono in position for a big fall away slam Ono rolls out of the ring and oh what I have no idea what happened but the referee has called for the bell Claiming cash is on always your winner. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened, but that is all we have time for here on SmackDown. Do not forget to tune in Sunday for the Raw exclusive pay-per-view backlash. And uh, tune in here on SmackDown next week to find out what just happened. So, uh, yeah. Uh, tune in to Backlash and we'll see you next week for more SmackDown action.